the bottom sweeper jigs. You put Old Bay on anything and it's good. Oh, that's him. fishing at the beach though we're going down here we're doing an instructional video for you guys today. i don't do too many of them but in this video we're going to be covering sheep's head because it's one of my favorite fish to target in the winter you can do it on all the days when it's windy and rough like today it's been raining on and off all morning but we're going to go over how to catch the bait what bait i like to use how to rig it kind of like the gear i use uh the structure where you're going to want to be fishing for the sheep's head and we might even uh, we might even invite one or two home for dinner. So first things first though, we gotta go ahead and get some bait. So you can see we're working with a pretty low tide right now, which can actually make it a little bit tricky. But these birds that are around are a good sign because they're looking for sand fleas and we're looking for sand fleas. And I can see some sand fleas down there. So we should be pretty good to go here in a minute. So the sand fleas can get pretty hard to find this time of year, but right here we actually got a nice little school of them. And as the wave recedes, you see the little rough, rough patches in the sand. That's where the sand fleas are. If you can tell right there, there's a good little number of them. So the way I like to do it is let the wave come up and we're doing it one handed here. And then as it's receding, we're just gonna dig that rake right in there. Look at that. That's probably enough to go fishing for the day. One rake full, loading up on the fleas. So that's step one. So we got our bait. The next step is to rig up. We're gonna be using the Tsunami Salt X 4000 paired with the Tsunami Carbon Shield 2 seven foot six fast action. And we don't need a reel that big, but that's what I got with me today. That's what we're using. We got 20 pound Invisibraid tied to uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon. I used a little double uni knot right there. And the fluorocarbon kind of does make a difference when we're doing this. And the reason is not because we're worried about the line being super clear, but uh, we need that abrasion resistant because we're fishing structure, whether it be mangroves, docks, uh, around the inlet. Sheep's head, generally speaking, are gonna really like some kind of structure. Now, that doesn't mean you're not gonna find them cruising the flats because they will do that. But today we're gonna be focusing on dock fishing and that's what I really like to do. I've got a lot of videos on my channel where I'm hopping around in the river on docks and that's what we're focusing today. Uh, now, another thing that's pretty important when you're sheephead fishing is your hook. They have insanely hard mouths. They can be a very, very tricky fish to hook. Um, a lot of times I'll use just a free line, but if I'm fishing deeper docks, like we're gonna be doing today, I like these uh, bottom sweeper jigs. I just got some more in the mail. I like them a lot. I use the light ones, the quarter ounce with the 1-0 hook. They come in different colors. Um, I'm sure the color makes a little bit different, but I really do well on all of them. It's a cool jig, no matter how they land, they always land, land facing upright with the hook up in the air. So it helps you with your hook set on the tricky mouth of a sheep's head. So we're gonna go ahead and tie one of these on, then go get a sand flea. So there we go, we got our first flea, first sand flea going out. Just gonna let them sink to the bottom. And the sheep's head, when they pick it up, it's like a steady tug. So that's what we're looking for right here. And you don't let it sit for too long. Just drop it on a piling, and then if we don't get anything here, we'll just keep moving around. He's getting pecked at. Ooh, that's a heavy fish. That's a good one. That's a good sheepy. That's the one we're looking for. All right. Look at that bottom sweeper. Got him right there. Perfectly right in the corner and you could see it was rubbing up on the piling and that's why that fluorocarbon really helps you out but that's a nice one so there we go we got the jig out that is a nice sheep's head i think we're gonna have to go ahead and invite that one home for us there we go sheep head number one all right going back down Mm. 
Nice sheepy. Nice sheepy. There he is. It's another really solid sheep's head. A little smaller. A little smaller than the last one. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Bottom sweeper got him perfect right in there. Wide gaps, really nice on those hooks. All right, let's see if we can pull three out of this one little teeny spot. Yeah, he's right back on as soon as it gets down deep. Nice sheepy. Nice sheepy, nice sheepy. Gotta watch the structure, gotta watch the structure. Always watching the structure with these guys. There we go. That one's another decent sized one. We'll pop him in the bucket. Something's on it already. Little sheep head. Little guy, little guy. Oh, I got cut off on the piling. All right, we're gonna try a little further away from the pilings now. Oh, I got thumped. Fast hits though, feels like snappers. I think you got me that time. No? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my God, look at that snapper. That is a solid snapper. We'll take him home. Look at that mangrove snapper. Look at that sheep's head stud, stud. Oh my God. There we go. There we go, there we go. These hooks work so good. Well, that didn't take long at all. We got our sheep's head, we got our sand fleas in the other order, and you might have noticed I had a ton of sand fleas, and that's because I had uh, an order for some from someone in South Florida that couldn't find any around where they live. So if you guys ever need sand fleas, uh, live fleas or blanched frozen fleas, and you can't get them at your local bait shops, I always suggest doing that first, but if you're in a bind, they don't have them, hit me up, I got you covered, and uh, now we're gonna do some cooking in a little bit. First, we had to go here to Publix, and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here for cooking. I'm definitely no expert chef. If you want that, you go see Victor at Landshark. He's the he's the pro when it comes to that. But I don't know, I think of maybe a salad with a little bit of fish on top or kind of a burrito. But I just wanna do like simple, cheap meals, not some elaborate thing. And yeah, that's enough talking. I'm gonna go in the store. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So this is what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna do a sheep's head omelet. We got our sheep's head. Cut up a few pieces. We got some eggs, we got some uh, tomato, onion, pepper, Old Bay, butter, eggs. So first thing we're gonna go ahead and do, which I'm not gonna put on the camera because I only got one hand right now, is mix up some eggs. And I've never done this before, so I'll let you guys know how it is. But we're gonna mix up some eggs in the bowl and uh, get ready to get our fish cooked also. So we got our eggs there. We got our sheep's head right here. We're just gonna put a lot of Old Bay on there because we like Old Bay. I'll mix that up in a little bit around that. Get a bunch of it on there. And then I've already started heating up some butter over here. And all we're gonna do is take these, drop them in here. It's probably gonna be too much for the omelet, but we'll have some diblets to try. Then we're gonna mix up the eggs. Got our little sheepy cooking right there. Just got some eggs in here. 
And uh, once that starts cooking a little bit, we'll add some of the vegetables and the sheep's head. Take some of these pre-cut up vegetables, put some of them in there. These are little pieces here, so these should cook pretty quickly. Looking good, looking good. A little more old bay would never hurt. Let's go ahead and toss some of these in here. You know, we'll take that big piece out. Put the little pieces in here. And the big piece will be extra bonus appetizer pieces. There we go, sheep head omelet. It's all wrapped up nice. I'm just gonna let it keep cooking a little bit. Gave it a little flipper. They're good. It's good stuff. There it is. With the one little piece of fish we had left. So that is our omelet right there. We got some little bit, little bit of vegetables. There you go, there's a bite with a little bit of sheepy. I never order like the fish omelets at restaurants or like the shrimp omelets because I think they sound weird. But for whatever reason, today I had a craving for it. And that's some good stuff. Some sheepy, some river sheepsy, sheepy, which I don't normally eat. But figured I'd give it a try. Look at that big old piece of sheep's head on there. Where are you at, Captain Pitted? Dude, you put Old Bay on anything and it's good. That is some good stuff. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. And I gotta say, let me get some light. Thank you very much for watching the channel, guys. Thanks for the support over the years. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.